In the past 12 months, alhamdulillah, I've generated over a million dollars in my business. And the crazy thing is that I've been doing business for seven years and things have really only taken off to that level in the past few years. In this video, you're going to discover what I did in the first few years versus the last few years to really make a difference in my business growth. You're really going to want to listen to these to implement them in your life too. And this is perfect for you so you can implement the same tips and get quicker results for you as well. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Amin. I wrote this book on Islamic masculinity and I run a couple of businesses from here in Istanbul. So the first thing that we did differently in the last year or two is actually to set goals. And I know this sounds dumb because a lot of people out there in the productivity and the self-help world, they tell you to plan, they tell you to make goals, they tell you to do goal setting and use smart goal setting and all of that. But when it came to revenue targets, we never actually had goals. And I always struggled with it because I just thought, okay, if this month we're making 40K, next month let's try and make 45 and then 50 and just have a regular increase every month as long as we can. I used to actually fire with my partners about this where I was really struggling to have that kind of visionary thing. And I was just wanted to follow the numbers, whereas my partners were pushing me to have an actual goal and target. So this year we had targets and having something like a goal of making 100K a month, it forces you to ask a very powerful question. What do we need to do to make a hundred thousand dollars? And when you're serious about hitting that target, you start saying, okay, we need to hire this people. We need to spend this much on advertising. We just need to do what it takes to hit that target and to invest accordingly. And sometimes having a big target like that is what will give you the huevos to make those big decisions. But you won't be bold in your decision making if you don't even know what your target is and how far away from it you are. So once we had a target, then we realized we needed to do the second thing, which is to simplify everything ruthlessly. Now, this sounds very simple and I'll get into some more advanced stuff later, but success often doesn't come from very complex ideas. It comes from actually implementing the simple, good ideas. And a lot of the time that just requires one thing, discipline. So back when we first started business seven years ago, we were selling digital marketing services, like making websites, doing branding, doing Facebook ads, Google ads for companies. Now those services I just mentioned, each one of them can actually get quite complicated on its own. So what if you're offering all five of them? It gets really complex and trust me, you just end up wanting to slap yourself. And the worst thing was that we knew that this was complicated, but we did not have the discipline to cut out those extra services and not offer them anymore. This is where the difference comes in. That discipline to actually take action on what you already knew all along. You know, with information being spread everywhere, there are only two types of people. People who just know and people who know and implement. That's it. So this year we stripped everything down to the basics. We sell one product with one funnel and two traffic sources. And by the way, we only have two traffic sources because we're able to hire a full-time person to focus on one of those. And this made the biggest difference for us. We were able to really zoom in on each element of the business and improve it step by step, very iteratively, because we weren't focused on so many things. We narrowed down to make that element of the business really good, and then we can move on to the next. And the third and probably biggest factor here, and the thing that we've learned and we've implemented throughout the years is persistence. We persisted through years of things not really going perfectly at all. So many times we had discussions about quitting, about one of us going to get a job or doing Uber on the side. But alhamdulillah, we just kept going. We stayed in the game. And as long as you stay in the game and you keep going, success will come inshallah. And I've got to add as well, and I would consider this something pretty advanced and very important for everybody, is that through those hard times, I always try to keep two things up. And they're so important that Ibn al-Qayyim actually wrote a whole book focusing on these two things. And they are patience and gratitude. So when I was 24, living in a small city in the UAE with my parents, with no income, just a hope of making even $1,000 online and getting married, I try to stay grateful to Allah. When walking to and from the masjid, I try to ponder on the blessings that Allah gave me and didn't give many other people. I used to think just the fact that I can have the audacity to hope that I would ever make a thousand dollars online, that hope alone is enough to be grateful for. Being Muslim is enough to be grateful for. I remember seeing Jamal Edwards, the founder of SBTV, if anyone remembers that. He died a few years ago and I remember looking up to him as someone who's done well in business very young in his life, but ultimately he didn't die on his lap. So all of these things were things that I used to ponder on and try to make myself grateful to Allah 
no matter how down I was feeling at the time. And I'd make dua to Allah to keep me patient. And Alhamdulillah, we were patient. We never quit. And patience is mentioned so many times in the Quran and Allah favors the people that have patience. And so for Allah to give you some level of patience, at least that's a huge blessing. And there was a small booklet that someone gave to me and it changed my whole mindset. It was a booklet about the hadith where Allah says, I am as my slave expects me to be. And since I read that and I learned that concept, I always try to expect the best from Allah. I would do the work, yes, but I would always expect that something good is on the way. If not today, if not next month or the month after that, at some point, inshallah, I'm going to be running a business full time and I'm going to be making enough money to get married and live. At that time, I wasn't even aiming for the riches and luxuries. I just wanted that privilege of earning money on my own terms from my own business and being able to afford to get married and live my own life, basically. So no matter what, I always try to expect the best from Allah, even if today everything seemed bad. And I feel like, alhamdulillah, Allah really helped me with that. And now, alhamdulillah, a lot of those dreams I had back in the day when I first started have come true. Make sure you say Allah barik. But you might be curious about the exact steps that I took and the process and journey that I went on from day one to today. And I made a video going through all of that, including the lessons that I learned and what I would do differently if I started today. So check that video out right now. I'll see you there.